and uh, Southeast Asia, every European country occupied, right? So Japanese, they want to get something. But well, unfortunately, yeah, I, unfortunately, I, I, you know, Japanese is not the white people. That's the reason why European people, American people, is uh, feel hostility against Japanese. Chinese people is always surrender to America, fall to America. So they never try to be independent. Dependent. Mm. So Japanese is able all the way try to copy European colonialism. That is a uh, one difference is only Japanese yellow people, not white. That's the reason European people are against Japan. They feel Japan is so well, arrogant. No, I, no, I, no. Yeah, well, okay, sure. Uh, that I can believe because I, uh, it, it inherently, I think we, we Europeans thought we were superior uh, to anybody in the world. Uh, yeah, good example. See, no Japan war. And then Japan tried to get, or like World War One, they tried to get uh, uh, the one, one part of Chinese, you know, occupied by Germany. But uh, every European country is against Japan. Mm. And also Russia right, at that time is so arrogant to try to against uh, Japan, everything. So Japan is. Uh, uh, start start to raise war. Yeah, no, I, I, I do believe I, I, I completely agree with you when you say that that that, that uh, Europeans were arrogant uh, towards Japan. But I was wondering, okay, what was Japan doing uh, until then? They had always been waiting within the the, uh, the borders of the, their uh, the, the islands, and they did not have any expansionist ideas. And then all of a sudden, that started starts to change and you say that it's just a copy of west i think that doesn't really fit into the image that they do not try to be like the west i think that there, there was something else going on i think it's too simple to say that they were just trying to copy the west after this uh, after this of japan war 20 years later japanese military get power and there's something wrong things is going to happen in china before not before not before after they had so confident to win Russia. So gradually military power getting bigger, they tried to occupy in China or Southeast Asia. Well, I, what I'm made to believe here is that maybe... And Russia one big mistake is, pressure. one big mistake is uh, still Japan is sticking to colonialism. They want to occupy China. This is wrong. Japanese cannot occupy China. Country is so huge. But why? Why did they try to do it? That that's that really it doesn't fit into the picture of thousands. Oh, this of is years this history. is typical Japanese, you know, characteristic. You should you you should understand why they try to expand their territory. Still, I don't understand why. Mm. Okay, why are they going to invade China? I don't understand. Why? Why are they going to occupy Shanghai? Why are they going to Nanjing, going to south, down to south? I do not understand. What they want to do? Yeah, so so what I thought to to think is that actually they have a war in cl a, a, a a class of warriors that that has kind of been repurposed and been used basically been channeled outside of Japan as long as that they, they are outside of Japan that they, they they will not turn against uh, the government. Is it, basically, it is it's very important. That's the reason I try to Takashi. He should study. Uh, the Great Asian War, what Japanese military did. What, 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 why is they mistaken? Why they did mistake? But I tell you one, one, also one, you know, strange, you know, image for Pearl Harbor, okay? 1941, the beginning of the year, at that time, they don't have any plan for attacking Pearl Harbor. Suddenly came out the plan, and six months later, they attacked. How come? It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's that, at that time, American, 80% of population, they against war, right? So as soon as they uh, attacked Pearl Harbor, they uh, turned different way around. American right. population agreed to start war. 
This is everybody understand. This is obvious. But how come Japanese they attack Pearl Harbor? This is crazy. Put this in a mo- right. Put put this in a modern perspective. Kirin has been uh, thinking about expanding overseas for years. They have been saying, okay, we're not going to do it. 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 And all of a sudden, they bought the second largest Same. Uh, beer brewery in the south. Same. <laughs> in Brazil, and bang, they almost uh, lost all of their reserves and in, in went ahead, went uh, I agree with went, you. Went How under. come? They didn't think about, they never thinking about attacking Pearl Harbor. All population, all the Japanese population, they understand Japanese cannot win America, against America. Yeah, but they actually, what did they put up as, a, there is an official reason for it. Um, if they they are going to uh, not attack in Pearl Harbor, America will not wage war against Japan. I think it was it had to do with the reason that actually Japan wanted to clear the Pacific Ocean for resources in order because otherwise they had to give up their interests in uh East Asia because they, they would there would there would be no way they could get resources. So yeah, just simply in, in the mind, in the narratives. Yeah, yeah. But is that really the reason or is that just an excuse? No. Japanese need oil, just only simply going down to South. Occupy Indonesia. Yeah, but mm. not to wage war. Not need to wage war against Yeah, America. but actually when you think about it then by drawing the U.S. into the war, they would achieve exactly the opposite. As long as the U.S. is not involved in this war, they had a reasonable chance to actually go down. So they actually achieved the opposite. Why? I don't know why. This is also the same question. First of all, Japanese military should going to invade to Russia instead of going to South. This is because, as you know, the as espionage, Russian espionage involving Japanese top level of government, so they decide to go into South. This is understandable. They change the strategy. And if they're going to down to South, okay, you need to focus on going down to South instead of battle against America. Mm. All right. So this sort of things yeah, I don't understand. Why Japanese, you know, people uh, they are uh, doing such a kind of unbelievable action? They always they're going to take. Actually, I I do have a video about that. I think uh, somewhere later on in the deck, um, but I I at the moment I don't remember. It was a it was a very far fetched reason that I uh, remember. I thought that can't be the real reason. That can't be the real reason why they did it. This video tries to explain it, why why they they drew the United States into this war. But it, mm. But military intention, they, they, they decide to start war instead of American pressure or everything else, if they don't start. Right, the, mil- yeah, the military play a very important role. And so again, that, that, that points me into the direction, are these the traditional samurai that are trying to regain their importance within Japanese society? This in history, uh, in the future, mm-hmm. also we're going to have a long decision making, like kind of such big decision. This similar thing will happen or for business, for government, for foreign affairs, everything. Mm. So long decision making and then all of a sudden, dang. Mm. All of a sudden. Overseas people are astonished, astounding. Why are Japanese mm. taking kind of action? Nobody understands. This kind of things happening actually happened. Mm. Why they, they do? Right, but what is, what was what was maybe this is besides what was new for me is that actually this uh, this kind of uh, um, uh, 
fighting until death, etc., was already being practiced in the wars before World War II. So this, um, uh, uh, what's it called, the, um, what we were talking about the other day, the um, kamikaze mentality, 